And you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to wonder exactly what President George W. Bush knew about the attack and when he knew it. According to the official White House version, it was at this moment in a Florida classroom that Bush learned the second plane had hit the World Trade Center and that the U.S. was under attack. But here's what George Bush himself said almost three months ago. Get ready to read all these words on this page without making a mistake. Look at the letter at the end and remember the sound it makes. Get ready. Pipe. Pipe. Yes, pipe. Get ready to read this word the fast way. Get ready. Key. Yes, key. Sound it out. Get ready. Key. Sound it out. Get ready. Key. What word? Key. Yes, kit. Boys and girls, sound this word out. Get ready. Steel. What word? Steel. Yes, steel. Read these words the fast way. Get ready. Play. play. Yes, play. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Let's read these words the fast way without making a mistake. Get ready. Kite. Yes, kite. Get ready. Kit. Yes, kit. Get ready. Steal. Yes, steal. Get ready. Play. Yes, playing. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Go to go speak the reader up from under your seat. Open your book up to lesson 60 on page 153. <laughs> touch the title of your story, fingers under the title, get ready to read the title, The Fast Way. We're waiting for one member. <coughs> Thank you. Fingers under the title of the story. Get ready. The Pet Go. Yes, The Pet Go. Fingers under the first word of the story, get ready to read the story, The Fast Way. Get ready. A girl had a pet goat. Go on. She liked to go running with her pet goat. Go on. She played with her. <laughs> Let's go. Must be six <laughs> From the beginning, fingers under the first word. Let's go. But one day her car robber came.
later when asked about September 11th. I had, was sitting outside uh, the, the, the classroom waiting to go in and I saw an airplane hit the tower of a, of a T, you know, the TD was obviously on and I, I used to fly myself and I said, well, there's one terrible pilot. And uh, it said it must have been a, a horrible accident. But I was whisked off there. I didn't have much time to think about it. Now, wait a minute. George Bush was told about the second plane while he was inside the classroom. So you just heard him describe seeing the first plane crash on television that day. But that's impossible. No one saw the first plane crash on TV on September the 11th because the videotape of it didn't surface until the next day. Here's one of the guys, he can tell you I'm okay, all right? Here, hold on. You want to call, you, you call your mother or something? Oh, oh, you got to get back from here. Yeah. Wow, that's all right. Get back. All right. right. Hold hold it. It. reports of secondary explosions after the aircraft impacted, whether in fact there wasn't something else at the base of the towers that in fact were the coup de gras to bring them to the ground. When you're down there, Dan, you hear smaller secondary explosions going off every 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, and, and so it is an extremely dangerous place to be. And I'm surrounded by firefighters who are just watching helplessly. They've had to, to suspend their rescue operation, and they're just watching a burning hulk of building right now. The, uh, the front part of the World Trade Center has completely sheared off, as well as many of the upper floors. And every few minutes you'll hear it like a small sort of a rumbling sound, almost like an explosion sound, and another chunk of it will come flying down into the street. Uh, Rick Sanchez has been there throughout this morning for us. Rick, tell us where you are and what the latest is. Well, I'm in that area, if you're familiar with uh, this area, of uh, where West Broadway and Hudson come together uh, right at Chambers. That would put us about a block and a half away from uh, the site of where the explosion was. That area has just been uh, evacuated because uh, police have found what they describe it as a suspicious device, and they fear that it might be something that could lead to uh, another explosion. Obviously, there, there, there's a real sense of caution here on the part of police. I spoke with some police officials moments ago, Chris, and they told me that they have reason to believe that one of the explosions at the World Trade Center, aside from the ones that may have been caused by the impact of the plane with the building, may have been caused by a van that was parked in the building that may have had some type of explosive device in it. So their fear is that there may have been explosive devices planted either in the building or in the adjacent area, and that's why they're being so cautious. Uh, we heard another explosion, and I'm assuming that's the one that came from the, the lower level. Since there were two, and I thought right, because it was like 18 minutes apart. Well, this is you no know, the first the first explosion, and there was a second explosion in the same building. There were two explosions. Okay. The federal agencies that were down there do believe that there was some sort of explosive device somewhere else besides the planes hitting. This is Pat Dawson. It's close to the scene of that attack. Pat. Uh, just moments ago, uh, I spoke to the chief of safety for the New York City Fire Department, um, Chief Albert Turry, 
He received word of the possibility of a secondary device, that is another bomb going off. Uh, he tried to get his men out as quickly as he could, but he said that there was another explosion which took place. And then an hour after the first hit here, or the first crash that took place, he said, uh, there was another explosion that took place uh, in one of the towers here. He thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building. The second device, he thinks, he speculates, was probably planted in the building. First one and then the other, some say after secondary explosions. We understand now there has been a secondary explosion on Tower 2. Um, if you wish to bring uh, anybody who's ever watched a building being demolished on purpose knows that if you're going to do this, you have to get at the, at the under infrastructure of the building and bring it down. Tell me how you're feeling. How did you get there? What happened to you? Um, I was, I worked for the train center, one of the carpenters, and uh, I was going to go do a job. And um, I got on the elevator, and the freight elevator, and I heard the first um, explosion, and the elevator blew up, the doors blew up, and it dropped. And um, I was lucky that the uh, elevator got caught between two floors that... Which floors? The B levels, the basement levels, right. with all the, you know, all the mechanics on. There was another big, big explosion in the other tower. Flames coming out of this billowing grey smoke. People still not panicking. People not quite understanding what was going on. Then somebody said that they saw an airliner go into one of those towers. Then, uh, I don't know, an hour later than that, we... had that big explosion from much, much lower. I don't know what on earth caused that. At 10.30, I tried to leave the building, but as soon as I got outside, I heard a second explosion and another rumble and more smoke and more dust. I ran inside the buildings, the chandelier shook, and again, black smoke filled the air. Within another five minutes, we were covered again with more silk and more dust. And then a fire marshal came in and said he had to leave because if there was a third explosion, this building might not last. As we were getting our gear on and making our way to the stairway, there was a uh, heavy-duty explosion. Some of the people out, then there was those secondary explosions and then the subsequent collapses. I don't know how many people were there. I know there was a lot of firefighters. <laughs> New York's bravest never had a chance. We really never even got the, uh, cl that close to the building. The explosion blew and it, it knocked everybody over. The FBI is here, as you can see. They had woke this area off. They were taking photographs and securing this area just prior to that huge explosion that we all heard and felt. Most of the victims so far were people outside the blown up buildings. Like, it sounded like gunfire. You know, bang, 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 bang. And then, and then all of a sudden, three big explosions. To me it sounded like, it, to me it sounded like an explosion, then, then the building, the rolling sound sounded like the building collapsed. Where the floors collapsed down. I saw it blow and then ran like hell. Thank God. 69, but I can still run. It just went ba-boom. It was like a bomb went off. And it was like, it was like holy hell coming down them stairs. And then when we, go, we got, finally got to the bottom, we were coming out on a, a mezzanine level.